What's going on everybody? J Ray Pokey. Just coming at y'all with a little video. So I made a recent well a few recent purchases, but one was a little bigger. And then I've been picking up a few things here and there. Well, a lot of the same things. But I've been every time they're cheap, I buy them. So it's really blowing my mind how cheap these amazing rares are right now. And I just unpacked these two, so they're still like packaging or tape or whatever on them one thing i do gotta say guys if you're selling cards stop putting tape every one of these had tape somewhere around or on the card saver or top loader like don't do that use use a sticky note use a sticky note guys oh sorry Put the sticky note, sticky side down here, fold it over, then put the tape on the other side. That works. Like this, prime example of a decent way to ship. You're not going to get tape on the card itself. But anyway, so yeah, I picked up all four of these on eBay for, I think, 11 bucks. And that's, I purchased them all separately in auctions. I think one of these restaurants... I got for 99 cent free shipping so i mean that's crazy how cheap these are if they're under five bucks i'm buying them every time and i'm just picking them up slowly you know i'm not i'm not in a rush but you know build somewhat of a little position in these amazing rares that's all i'm trying to do with that but all of this is for resale so i spent a hundred bucks from the homie on instagram andy rg1990 I will put his Instagram um, username in the description section. If you want to go check him out, you should go check him out. Really cool dude. Always selling awesome stuff. Good prices, good deals. Just a cool dude to talk to. True collector. Really good dude in the community, man. That's rare. So I bought all this from him for 100 bucks, right? And most of it's bulk, as you can see. So up here... We have Evolving Skies, Reverse Hollows, and Hollows. I'm not going to go through all of them, but oh, there's the three birds. But, I mean, <laughs> Homie opens up a lot of packs. So, every time he amasses some, I usually reach out to him and try to get it. Here's a Chilling Rain, I believe. I haven't even gotten in any of this yet from eBay, so I'm pretty sure it's Chilling Rain. Awesome Gengar artwork, by the way. And all this is going to be listed on my eBay soon enough. Then we have a stack of promos right here, which I think most of these come from, like, the three-card blisters. And some Eevees, Pants here. I think that was a single blister. Look at the hollow on these, man. T-Pig, Shinx. I mean, these, I'll, I'll take the time to go through these. The hollows on these just pop so nice. Oh, a little, little swirl action up there. The Snorlax. Old single strike Snorlax. You know he ain't about to hit you in no crate. And look at the, look at this, guys. Oh, sorry about that. Hold on. There we go. Look at the hollow bleed on some of these. It is ridiculous. So some of these I'm actually going to be keeping for myself for my EV binder. But there will be some of these Hollow Bleed promos on my eBay store. Probably get to listen to these tonight, honestly. So you got a little stack of promos. I got seven of these EVV Maxes. And these are actually just going away in the collection. I've got a ton of these things now. But they're just so cheap, and I mean, it's Eevee. It's a V. It's the first time you've seen Eevee's V Max form. It's from a very popular set, Shining Fates ETBs. I can't see where these don't go up to like at least 10, 15 bucks one day. Maybe not. Oh well, I'll have a bunch of Eevees. Maybe if that happens and they don't go up, you know, I'll just grade them. No biggie. And then this dude is amazing. He threw in three Reshirams and a Kyogre from Shining Fates. He threw in a couple VMAXs, two more Pecos, a Ditto VMAX. 
here is the bulk that I'm going to be throwing throwing to the side. I'll go I'll go through it and find anything that's like a dollar ninety nine and up. I will list, but everything else that I only have singles of, I'm just going to put to the side for when I get enough of that set to list it. And then we have Shining Fates, Hollows, and Reverse Hollows. So there was a total of, I believe, 879 bolt cards. And then he also, I like that dreadnought. And then also he threw in the EVV Maxes, those amazing rares, and those couple of um, V Maxes right here. So for 100 bucks, I got all this. And I think I'm going to do very well with this lot. It's going to take a lot of time, obviously. I've got to sort it, list it, store it, wait for it to sell, ship it. But over the long haul, this is going to be great eBay inventory and great profit. I'm, I am i can't even give you a rough estimate on the number. But, I mean, I'm going to list probably $1,200 in my eBay store from this. Now, a lot of that isn't going to be profit because, like, a lot of these... For example, this Thievel, I'm going to list for $0.99. Cent. So if somebody comes and just buys this, I lose um, three or four pennies each time I sell one single card. But I paid $0.09 cent a piece for these, basically. So if somebody comes in and buys, let's say, these two cards, then I'm making like $0.60, cents, right? So and profit. So margin-wise, if people come in and buy multiple cards, you're killing it. And I do get a whole lot of orders that is more than one card. So I, I always end up making out. But if I had to give a rough estimate, I'd say, I don't know, 300 bucks profit off of this, maybe 400 And it's really good eBay inventory. It's good to like diversify your listings and just have a wide variety of things available. So when people come in, they have more of a chance of buying multiple cards instead of just one. And that's basically... You know, that's basically the sauce. That's the sauce you need if you're going to sell bulk cards on eBay. And for the most part, until you've built your store up, you know, have a couple hundred positive feedback, some people following you, and a good bit of listings, I would stick to stuff like this. I wouldn't do like I like I am currently and listing like the commons, uncommons, the you know, non reverse hollow trainers, stuff like that, because those do take a lot of time to sell. I do pretty decent with them, but I mean, that's it's more filler than anything. You know, people come in, buy two or three cards, and they'll also buy like a magic carp from Hidden Fates or whatever. But, um, yeah, that's the video for today, man. Tell me what you guys think. Would you ever think of doing this on eBay 99 cent commons, uncommons, reverse hollows, etc.? Or do you feel like this is just too much work? Man, let me know in the comments. As always, man, I appreciate y'all for watching. Glad y'all stopped by. Let me know what you think. Till next time, man, it's J-Ray Pokey. Peace.